Are you a beginner and wonder how to set up Python on your Windows? This video is for you. Let me walk you through the details about how to install latest version of Python as of today on Windows. Here you have to open your browser. I have opened Chrome, you can see. As part of the search bar, you should be able to search for download Python and then you can take it forward or you can directly type python.org which is official website for Python. Then you should be able to go to downloads. The latest version of Python is nothing but 3.13. Let me click on this. It will take care of downloading the Python 3.13 here. You can see it is successfully downloaded. Again, it is exe file, which means it is executable. Even with respect to Chrome earlier in the videos which we have created, it is exe file only. On top of exe, when it comes to Windows, you also might see MSI as extension. MSI stands for Microsoft Installer. EXE and MSI are the popular extensions when it comes to any software that can be installed on Windows. Now let me click on this to go to that file. Now let me double click. It will take care of installing Python 3.13 on this Windows based machine. Let's wait until the wizard pops up. Now the wizard popped up. Let me click on install now. I haven't changed the location for Python. Now it is being installed. Let's wait until it is fully installed. Once it is installed, we will also validate to see if Python is properly set up or not. Now the Python is set up. You can see the message here. It is saying setup was successful. We should be able to click on close. Always keep in mind it is important to validate once anything is set up. Uh, to validate here, we should be able to search for Python here. Let me search for Python. You can see here Python 3.13. You can click on this. Now this is Python CLI. In case if you wanted to increase font size, you can go to properties here. Then you can go to font. Then you can actually change it to 24 or whatever size you prefer. Then click on OK. Click on OK. It is saying unable to modify the shortcut. Check to make sure it has not been deleted or renamed. I don't know why we got that message, but the size is increased. Let me increase a little bit further. Let me click on properties. Let me go to font. Let me change it to 28. Let me click on OK. Now you see, it is much better. Now we should be able to say print hello world and hit enter. You can see hello world, which means we are able to type and test Python code. This is how you should be able to set up Python on Windows and also validate. Also keep in mind, it is important for us to have multiple versions of Python because we might end up developing applications using different versions of Python. It is a little bit tricky when it comes to setting up multiple versions of Python and using them. Especially we don't search for Python CLI like this and run Python code. We use PowerShell to run Python code or we use IDEs. First, let me actually validate whether I can access this Python using PowerShell or not. Then I'll also walk you through the details about installing other versions of Python. I'll be covering the details about installing other versions of Python in a separate video. Uh, look at the description of this video. You will get the link for that video as well. That being said, now let me say PowerShell. PowerShell is a command prompt on Windows or terminal on Windows, you should be able to use it to run commands against Windows file system or even when it comes to running our applications, we use PowerShell quite a lot. You can see there are quite a few options with respect to PowerShell. You pick this one, Windows PowerShell without ISE or x86 or anything. Let me click on this. Now the PowerShell is launched. Let me also increase the font size here by going to properties. Let me go to font here. Let me choose 28. Let me click on OK. Now font is bigger. Now we should be able to type Python. This is PowerShell, not Python CLI. Hence, to get into the Python CLI, we have to use Python command. Now let me hit enter. However, it haven't recognized the Python which we have set up already. Uh, to ensure it recognize, we have to update something called as path environment variable. Let me walk you through the details. Then you will understand what I'm talking about. For now, just to close it because we already have installed Python by going to python.org. It is going to Microsoft Store. It is not required. Hence, I am closing it. Now, I have to search for something called as environment variables. You can see here. You have to go to edit the system environment variables. Now, you have to click on environment variables here. Then, you have to choose path under system variables. Double click on it. Then click on new. You have to enter the path where our Python is installed. 
for that you you have to use file explorer then you have to go to your home directory the home directory is nothing but c drive then uh, users then the folder with name where the login id is specified in this case i have logged in as it university hence if i go to it university this is my home directory here there will be a hidden folder in which python is actually installed to view the hidden folders you have to go to view here and then go to show and then click on hidden items compared to what you have seen earlier you can see additional folders and files the important folder is nothing but app data this is hidden folder after clicking on view hidden items app data is visible here you can double click on it then go to local then you should be able to go to programs then you can see python here then python 313 you can see python here wherever the python is you have to pick that folder location not the file path but the folder in which we have python now let me copy this once it is copied we should be able to click on new and then paste here you can see the location here c users it university app data local programs python python 313 now we should be able to click on okay then click on okay then click on okay now we have to restart the powershell let me exit from here let me launch powershell once again it is already in the recent uh, apps hence i should be able to pick from here now powershell is launched now let me say python and hit enter you can see i am able to launch python cli without any issues this is how you can not only set up python uh, and validate it not only using uh, python app directly but also using powershell it is very very important for you to access your python using powershell as well not just python app directly in case if you like the content of the video uh, feel free to click on the like button if you wanted to see some specific content with respect to improving productivity with respect to it feel free to add in comment section if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet make sure to subscribe and also hit on bell icon you will be notified whenever we upload content like this also don't forget to look at the description you will have links to quite a few playlists so one of the playlists will be primarily for the hacks and tips associated with vs code i am going to create a lot of content using all my experience about how to use vs code effectively you will definitely love it hence i would highly recommend you to go to description and go to that playlist and follow the videos in that playlist to improve your productivity using vs code as a tool